Hello and welcome. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you so much for joining us once again here on Health Professional Radio. We're going to have a conversation with returning guest Rebecca Seidel. She's joining us here from Medtronic to talk about the recent acquisition of Affair Incorporated. Affair is a medical technology company. Welcome back, Rebecca. How have you been? Thanks. And thanks, Neil. I appreciate the opportunity. I, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Well, uh, many of our listeners may not be familiar with you as a contributor. Give us a bit of insight into who you are and your role at Medtronic. So I've been with Medtronic for about 19 years now, all in the cardiovascular space. And and most recently in this current role, I lead the cardiac ablation business. Now, as far as cardiac ablation, what exactly is that and how is that important? Yeah, so certainly there are many, many patients uh, across the globe that have atrial fibrillation. And so in this business, we really seek to um, have technologies that treat those patients. It's a progressive disease and physicians and patients need a variety of tools in order to, to treat that disease state effectively. I did mention that you've recently acquired Affera Incorporated. What exactly does this acquisition mean for Medtronic? Yeah, Affair is a really important acquisition for Medtronic for a variety of reasons. Certainly, as I mentioned, AF is a progressive disease state, and we have the cryoballoon technology that's been very successful to treat pulmonary veins. And of course, that's the cornerstone for treatment. But we know that patients need more than that at times as their disease progresses or they have a different variety of of, uh, arrhythmia. And so, It was important to us to acquire a technology that has a mapping and navigation system as well as a large footprint focal catheter in order to treat the disease. And certainly, pulse field ablation is becoming very exciting in the space. It's in early trials in, in the U.S. and across the globe. And it seems to be that this technology could be safer and potentially more effective for patients. So we're excited about the opportunity about pulse field ablation as well. You mentioned that uh, this acquisition means that you've acquired uh, cardiac mapping and navigation technology. Explain uh, briefly what that is for our listeners. Yeah, what's important about that is when a physician is ablating a patient, that they have the ability to see where they're ablating as well as um, mark where they've ablated so that they have really a map of what's happened in the procedure. And that's something that we haven't had previously um, as part of Medtronic's portfolio. And so that means a lot to us and it means a lot to patients for the future of of treatment. Is that the only new technology that uh, is going along with this acquisition? Are there many other aspects that were the driving factors for this uh, joining? Yeah, it's it's a great question. And so certainly mapping and navigation has been a gap in our portfolio for a long time. But also we have the Sphere 9 technology that comes along with this. It's a large footprint um, focal ablation catheter, which is RF, PFA, and a diagnos- diagnostic tool all in one, which is really the only technology of its kind that, that does all three of those things. So we're super excited about that. In addition, there's also a sphere, sphere PVI technology, which is a PVI-based tool for PFA as well. As far as this acquisition bringing new technologies, is this going to meet a huge unmet need in the space or was this simply the drive for more efficiency as is always the drive? Yeah, so I would say that the large unmet need in this space is really about safety for patients. Anything that we can do to create a safer procedure is really, really important and pulse field ablation has that opportunity to be even more safe than the current procedure. The current procedure is is very safe, but anytime you can continue to make it safer for for patients, um, the better. Has this acquisition already reaped some benefits in the medical community or are we still in a holding pattern waiting for things to kind of shake out? Yeah, so this technology is not yet available around the world, but certainly we're in an IDE trial in the U.S. and look forward to launching this this uh, product in the future. Well, is there anything that you'd like to add for our listeners about this technology and about this acquisition as far as how it's going to uh, impact or benefit patients and physicians alike? You did, of course, mention safety as one of the big factors. Yeah. So one thing that I would just like to add is, you know, we had the opportunity to see this technology um, last year in Prague with Daron Harlov, the founder, and his team. And 
they're just an extraordinary team of of engineers and researchers who who really have uh, an eye for making things more efficient, making things more effective in the way the technology is put together. So really excited about how slick this technology is and how great it will be for physicians to use. We certainly want it to be you know, efficient, but we want to make sure that the physician has the capability to do the technical difficult things that need to be done during an ablation procedure. And I think that's really what Jerome and his team put together here and what we're really so excited about. Well, always a pleasure. Um, hopefully you'll come back and um, let us know how the trials went. Have you already started uh, selecting candidates for uh, the anticipated trials? So the, the trial candidates are, are completely full at this point. Okay. So we expect to be fully enrolled in the trial later this year or early next year and look forward to the results about a year after that. Well, I always appreciate you coming and uh, joining us here on Health Professional Radio. It's a pleasure as always and hoping, hoping that um, you'll, you'll come back. Absolutely, Neil. Thanks so much for the time. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with returning guest Rebecca Seidel, President of Cardiac Ablation Solutions Operating Unit at Medtronix. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.